We are currently at Universal Studios Florida and we're going to do a tour of this year's Mardi Gras tribute store behind us. Now each little festival they have different tribute stores. We've done a couple tours of those. We like showing them each year just so you can see what they're like. This one is Mardi Gras themed. I think it's a river cruise. Is that what it said? Yeah. River cruise theme. So we're going to go through it and show you exactly what that is like. They always do a good job with these tribute stores. So looking forward to it. Let's go check it out. Here is the tribute store. It says tribute store and river cruises. Port entrance is here. Um, looking forward to this. I usually have to talk quite a bit in these because of the music. Uh, it'll be copyrighted, so I have to usually just keep talking. So I'm probably gonna talk through this. Oh, look at this. What's it say? Welcome aboard the PS Songbird, the most luxurious paddle steamer the South has ever seen, built by the best for the best. Enjoy your journey along the Grand Mississippi River, New Orleans to Hannibal. Daily itinerary can be found in the main lobby and on each deck. Make sure to book your next cruise with the Tribute Store and River Cruises. That's a pretty neat little thing. See everything on the wall. And the decorations up there. And as we enter, welcome aboard the PS Songbird. Just kind of show you the decorations they've got. Of course, there's a lot of merch you can buy in here. On both sides. P.S. Songbird. And then this is the next room. I like the little lamp they've got going on there. Getting more merch. It's crazy how they're able to uh, make these every, oh wow, every um, festival. A menu, look at this. Hors d'oeuvres, starters, entrees. Dessert. I wish they were really serving that because then we could do a full restaurant review on this, but um, it's pretty cool. Another cool lamp right there. Looks like you're part of the ship. And as you pass through this room, whoa, that's cool. Whoa, got a little sofa right there some shirts that's pretty neat um, hats this is a really cool tribute store for sure beads I do like how they did this wall now we're gonna head to the next room you hear the music playing in the background whoa there goes a gator look at that that's crazy it's like you're on a little boardwalk here. Now we're in the swamp. Wow. What's this pretty cool? I'm kind of scared to walk over this now. Gators. Oh, look up there. Oh, I guess it's like maybe. I don't know. Is it like part of the ship that's been wrecked or just maybe we're on the port or something that was the ship now we're on the port that was crazy the gator that went through there yeah this floor is really cool over here we have sweets so you can kind of see the menu for sweets fudge special buy four pieces get two free you see the popcorn bucket here glows in the dark Another look at this room. Yes. They also have an alligator right here. And some of the alligator popcorn buckets. There's a look at some of the treats they have. Earth cookie dough ball. Should we feed it to the alligator? Hmm. Here's just a closer look at everything they've got. Now if we head into the next room, 
Oh, wow. This is normally where you enter, like when we came for Christmas, you entered this side. So you kind of go reverse for this tribute store. But again, some more merch, different things you can buy. Ooh, look up there. They put a lot of detail into these tribute stores. Look at the magnet bottle opener. That's kind of creepy up there. Oh, and look over here, they've got different stuff. Ornaments available. So they've got picture frames and ornaments. Hmm. Yeah, this was a cool, cool, cool tribute store. And then as we head out, last chance to party. You want any of their merch and in this room hard to see in here because it's dark but this room you've got a cannon and if you look at everything on the wall I mean you could spend a long time in here trying to look at all the little items they put in these tribute stores look it looks like an old rug creepy squeaky noise in the background there they do have a photo op right here where you can sit down and get your picture all these treasures look at this scene looks like you're not in a very good spot right now this guy's been here a while too but Wow. They have a lot of those in Tarpon Springs you can buy. It'd be cool to know if they've got that from Tarpon Springs. All right, well, this was the last room. Kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean, where they turn into skeletons. All right, I guess we will uh, head outside. Oh. And then outside we've got some like little cargo boxes. And then that takes you right out here. Where we just entered right over there. So that's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. It wasn't, didn't seem like it had as much as some of the previous ones. And like I said, normally you enter on this side here and walk through it that way. But for this particular one, you actually enter down there and walk through the other way, which it was cool. Pretty cool story, how you walk through it all like you're on a ship. I liked it. Also, this makes for a really good photo op. I saw somebody getting a photo right there like you're waiting for the port. And uh, I, I enjoyed it. I thought that was a pretty cool. Oh, look how they put the little boat up there. I did not realize that was up there. The boat. The steamboat, yeah. All right, we're gonna talk over the music, but that was our trip to the tribute store here for Mardi Gras at Universal Studios. I have to say they do a great job with all of their tribute stores, and we like to, we're gonna put them all on our website so that you can see the different styles of them. But you had a good point. Each season, they like switch it. So next year's Mardi Gras will be different than this tribute store because that's the first time we've seen the riverboat one. And it was cool. I thought they did a great job with it. You, we were kind of separated in there, but did you see the alligators on the ground? Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Uh, I didn't think there was many treats as this in this one as previous ones. I feel like they have more food in some of the other ones. But overall, it was a good tribute store. Uh, it's not going to be here much longer because we came later in the season. But um, after Mardi Gras, they'll do another one and we'll come back and see what that one's like. But I think they really do a great job with the tribute stores here at Universal. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.